what's up YouTube land Eddie Hill and today we will be reviewing another McFarland figure and this is their Sakura figure I didn't like the Naruto's head problems but I kept it anyway because I like Naruto it's one of my favorite anime genres but this one is very better than the first one I got. Really good posability in the arms. I love that. Really love that. There you can go. Punch, punch. And her head is on a really, really great ball joint. Love it. Plus you can see her... I don't know if you can... The hidden leaf headband on her head, which is very good. Really good paint on that. And she can move outward and kick. Wah. She can bend at that leg. Love that. Does get some outward movement, but not much. She can bend on the other leg. I mean, like, jump. Plus, she's got switchable hands. Give her... These are the fisty fists. You can give her an open... Oh wait, no, not the right one. Give her a gr grabby hand, as you can see. So she can hold stuff, which is pretty neat. You can also give her an open hand, which I like a lot. I like a lot, which is pretty good. Probably going to split her with the open hands, though. And that's all there is to say for the McFarlane Sakura figure. Really great figure. Definitely worth 14 bucks. I paid for it. Where I got this figure? I got this figure off Amazon for 14 bucks. You could probably find it, maybe... On eBay for a good price. If, if they sell McFarlane figures, I don't know. I don't know if any in-store places sell them either. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.